Shedd Aquarium, formerly the John G. Shedd Aquarium is an indoor public aquarium in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States. Opened on May 30, 1930, the 5 million U.S. gal 19 million L, 4 million 200,000 imp gal aquarium was for some time the largest indoor facility in the world. Today it holds some 32,000 animals. Shedd Aquarium was the first inland aquarium with a permanent saltwater fish collection. It is located on Lake Michigan, on the museum campus Chicago, along with the Adler Planetarium and the Field Museum of Natural History. In 2015, the aquarium had 2.02 million visitors. It was the most visited aquarium in the U.S. in 2005, and in 2007, it surpassed the Field Museum as the most popular cultural attraction in Chicago. The aquarium contains 1,500 species, including fish, marine mammals, birds, snakes, amphibians, and insects. The aquarium received awards for Best Exhibit from the Association of Zoos and Aquariums AZA for Seahorse Symphony in 1999, Amazon Rising in 2001, and Wild Reef in 2004. It was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1987. History Shedd Aquarium was the gift of retail leader John G. Shedd, a protégé of Marshall Field benefactor of the adjacent Field Museum, to the city of Chicago. Although Shedd only lived long enough to see the architect's first drawings for the aquarium, his widow, Mary R. Shedd, cut the ribbon at the official opening ceremony. The aquarium cost $3 million to build, and initially included 132 exhibit tanks. Groundbreaking took place on November 2, 1927, and construction was completed on December 19, 1929. The first exhibits opened on May 30, 1930. As one of the first inland aquariums in the world, the shed had to rely on a custom made railroad car, the Nautilus, for the transport of fish and seawater. The Nautilus lasted until 1959. In 1930, 20 railroad tank cars made eight round trips between Key West and Chicago to transport 1 million U.S. gallons of seawater for the shed saltwater exhibits. In 1933, Chicago hosted its second World's Fair, the Century of Progress. The aquarium was located immediately north of the fairgrounds, and the museum gained exposure to a large international crowd. In 1971, Shedd Aquarium added one of its most popular exhibits, a 90,000 U.S. gallon L exhibit reproducing a Caribbean coral reef. That same year, the aquarium acquired its first research vessel, a 75-foot boat for exploring the Caribbean, manned by a crew to conduct field research and collect specimens. In 1985, this boat was replaced with the aquarium's current vessel, the Coral Reef II. In 1987, Shedd Aquarium was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. John Shedd's grandson, John Shedd Reed, who had served as president of Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railroad from 1967 to 1986, was president of the Aquarium's board from 1984 until 1994, and was a life trustee until his death in 2008. Ted A. Beattie served as president and CEO of the Aquarium from 1994 until his retirement in 2016. Bridget C. Coughlin assumed duties as president and CEO of the company in the spring of 2016. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Exhibits and presentations. There are several permanent exhibits at Shed: Waters of the World, Caribbean Reef, Amazon Rising, Wild Reef, and the Abbott Oceanarium. Waters of the World 
The oldest galleries in the aquarium feature exhibits on oceans, rivers, islands and lakes, and Chicago's own local waters. Species on exhibit include Harold Myers Mantella, a giant Pacific octopus, Gymnarchus, blue iguana, starfish, seahorses, and alligator snapping turtle. Topic: <laughs> Caribbean Reef. The Caribbean Reef exhibit was built in 1971 on the site of the aquarium's very first exhibit, the Tropical Pool. A feature of this exhibit is a diver that interacts with the animals while talking with the people. A part of the exhibit is a 90,000 U.S. gallon L circular tank that allows for maximum walk around viewing. It was one of the first habitats to display schooling fish. It is also home to the rescued green sea turtle, nickel, as well as bonnethead sharks, tarpons, stingrays, and many more. The exhibit is near the center of the first floor. It is adjacent to Amazon Rising, Waters of the World, and Wild Reef. <laughs> Amazon Rising The Amazon Rising exhibit is a 8,600 square foot 800 square meters walkthrough flooded forest recreation of the Amazon River and the surrounding jungle. This exhibit contains 250 different species, and its highest water level is 6 feet 1.8 meters. Species from this area on exhibit include anacondas, piranhas, spiders, freshwater stingrays and caimans. Wild Reef In 2003 Shedd opened Wild Reef, a permanent exhibit located two levels below the main building. The exhibit contains a total of 525,000 U.S. gallons L and recreates a Philippine coral reef on the Apo Island Marine Reserve, complete with living coral, multiple species of fish and rays, and a collection of sharks such as sandbar, sawfish, zebra, and blacktip reef sharks. The main draw of this attraction is a 400,000 U.S. gallon L shark tank with 12-foot high-curved windows, allowing visitors a diver's eye view. The Wild Reef exhibit also features a saltwater tank display area where coral is propagated and grown for conservation purposes. Stingray Touch Opened on May 17, 2013, this exhibit allows guests to touch cow nose rays and yellow spotted rays as they swim around their 20,000 U.S. gallons L outdoor exhibit. Located on the aquarium's south terrace, this exhibit is open seasonally from May through October weather permitting. Topic. Oceanarium In 1991, Shedd Aquarium opened the Oceanarium known since 2010 as the Abbott Oceanarium, a large addition to the aquarium that features marine mammals, including Pacific white-sided dolphins, belugas, sea otters and California sea lions, as well as penguins, that are located in the polar play zone. The Polar Play Zone is an interactive play area for children as well as the home to the Magellanic and Rockhopper penguins. The lower level of the Oceanarium allows underwater viewing of the beluga whales and the dolphins. It holds 3 million U.S. gallons 11 million L in total, the largest single tank is the 2 million U.S. gallon 7 million L whale harbor. The Oceanarium is the largest indoor marine mammal facility in the world. Several of the sea otters that lived in the aquarium in the past were rescued from the Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989. In the fall of 2008, Shedd's Oceanarium was closed for preventive sealing as well as administrative upgrades. 
The animals in the exhibit area were temporarily moved to other zoos and aquariums until the exhibit reopened in May 2009. Fantasy Fantasy was a multiple animal show at Shedd Aquarium, running from October 16, 2009, through 2010. The show featured sea lions, beluga whales, penguins, hawks, and dolphins. Topic: <laughs> One World. One World Aquatic Presentation replaced Fantasy in 2013. The show can feature belugas, dolphins, penguins, sea lions, a hawk, and dogs. A holiday version is sometimes shown in November and December. Topic: 4D Theater. The 4D Theater opened in 2009 as part of the renovation of the Abbott Oceanarium. The 4D experience includes a 3D film with interactive seats, high-tech audio, and interactive elements like scents and bubbles. Films shown have included Coastal Predators, Sea Monsters, SpongeBob SquarePants, Planet Earth, Ice Age, Dora the Explorer, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer seasonal, and The Polar Express seasonal. Topic: <laughs> Previous special exhibits. Topic: <laughs> Jellies This exhibit opened in 2011, focusing on jellyfish, and the misconceptions surrounding them. It featured at least 10 species of jellyfish, including moon jellyfish, tenophora, comb jellyfish, black sea nettle, Atlantic sea nettle, jelly blubber and flower hat jelly. The exhibit closed in 2015. Topic. Amphibians The amphibian exhibit opened on May 15, 2015, and ran through January 1, 2018. It featured 40 different species of amphibians, including the gray tree frog, poison dart frog, fire-bellied toad, emperor newt, axolotl, tiger salamander, spring peeper, Japanese giant salamander, cane toad, and the marbled salamander. Topic. Current special exhibits Topic. Underwater beauty This exhibit opened on May 25, 2018, and focuses on the visual beauty of sea life, with sections called color, patterns, and rhythms. The exhibit features 100 different species of fish and invertebrate, displayed to accent their visual qualities, including the spotted trunkfish, ribbon eel, powder blue tang, purple tang, scribbled angelfish, lagoon jelly, flower hat jelly, blue spotted spinefoot, square spot fairy basslet, lined seahorse, Moorish idol, maxima clam, discus and pyramid butterflyfish. Topic. Animals on exhibit, past and present Topic. Australian lungfish Walter Shute, the aquarium's director from 1928 to 1964, wanted rare fish to attract the 10 million tourists expected to visit Chicago for the exposition in 1933. Grandad, an Australian lungfish, arrived at the shed in 1933, along with his mate, from Sydney during the Century of Progress World Exposition. During the Expo's run, they attracted about 4.5 million visitors. At Grandad's death in 2017, he was claimed by the aquarium to be the oldest fish in any aquarium in the world. 
He was at least 86 and possibly older. He weighed 25 pounds, 11 kilograms, and is 4 feet, 1.2 meters in length. His normal behavior was to lay like a sunken log on the bottom of his habitat. Topic Beluga whales Mauiak F, Naya F, Beethoven M, Kayavik F, Bella F, Oric M, Grayson M, and Kamalu F. In 2000, Mauiak gave birth to Connick, who was sent to Point Defiance Zoo in Tacoma where he died in 2009. In 2006, the beluga whale Puiji gave birth to a female calf, later named Bella. On August 16, 2007 Mauiak gave birth yet again to a male calf named Mickey, the Inuit word for small, bringing the total number of successful beluga calf births at the aquarium to four since 1999. Mickey has been moved to the Mystic Aquarium in 2016. Kayavik, a young beluga whale, is one of the most famous residents of the Oceanarium. The whale became an orphan at only five months old after her mother, Imayik, died. Trainers fed Kayavik fish, cared for her day and night, taught her how to be a whale, and she thrived to be the healthy adult she is today. Puiji, another of Shed Aquarium's beluga whales, gave birth to a 162-pound, 5-foot, 4-inch male calf on December 14, 2009. Although it was a difficult birth, the calf survived and debuted to the public on Sunday, January 24, 2010. He has since been named Nunavik meaning friendly, beautiful, and wild. Nunavik currently lives at the Georgia Aquarium as of 2016. Naluark was transferred to Mystic Aquarium and Institute for Exploration in Mystic, Connecticut in October 2011. He has since been moved to SeaWorld Orlando in 2016. Another female beluga, named Naya, gave birth on December 20 to a 162-pound, 5-foot 2-inch male calf, though the calf died two days later from complications during birth. Puiji died on Wednesday, October 26, 2011 following a seizure after having been undergoing treatment for an undisclosed medical condition over the course of several months. On August 27, 2012, Mauiak gave birth to a female calf, Kamalu, bringing the total number of belugas at shed to seven. <laughs> Alaskan sea otters Yaku M, Mari F, and Kiana F. Kenai Exxon Valdez oil spill survivor was euthanized on October 9, 2012, due to failing health brought on by advancing years. Kachamak oldest sea otter in a North American aquarium zoo was euthanized on August 24, 2013, due to failing health related to age. Topic. Southern Sea Otters Luna F. Ellie F. Topic Pacific White Sided Dolphins KRI F. IPO F. Control F. Munchkin F. Segu M. Makoa M. Kukla M. Segu and Makoa were conceived by Lee at the Miami Seaquarium when Pique was on a breeding loan there. Pique gave birth to Segu on Memorial Day weekend in 2012. Pique gave birth to her second calf, Makoa, on June 1, 2015. On April 18, 2016, Katrol gave birth to a male calf sired by Lee. The calf was placed on display on June 18, 2016, and was named Kukla meaning bubbles in the Tlingit language. Pique was moved to Miami Seaquarium in early 2018 for a breeding loan and IPO was transferred to Shed to take her place. <laughs> California Sea Lions Tyler M, Biff M, Cruz M, and Laguna M. Topic: Green Sea Turtle. 
Nickel Nickel is a female green sea turtle who resides at the Caribbean Reef exhibit located indirectly in front of the main lobby. Nickel was rescued on Florida's Gulf Coast area in 1998, where she was struck by the propellers of a motorboat. This accident damaged her shell and paralyzed her from the waist down causing her to have buoyancy problems. Researchers thought that she could no longer live in the wild so she was brought to shed in the spring of 2003. Upon her arrival, she went through several medical examinations, including an X-ray. The X-ray revealed a 1975 nickel lodged in her throat which is where she received the name, Nickel. Nickel is one of the many rescued animals that reside in the shed. She serves as an example to many people of the effects human activities can have on wildlife. <laughs> North American River Otter Rio Euthanized on October 29, 2013, due to age-related health issues, Rio was 21 and lived well past the median life expectancy of a North American river otter. Topic sharks Guitarfish Lucille Sawfish Ginsu Zebra Shark Seymour, Eli, Vera and Cleo Topic. Tarpon Deadeye Deadeye, a female Atlantic tarpon, was the oldest fish to reside at the Caribbean Reef in the aquarium. She was first introduced to the aquarium in 1935 and died in 1998. American alligators In 2016, the Shedd Aquarium introduced for the first time American alligators alligator Mississippiensis to its permanent exhibit spaces. Eight juvenile alligators were added to the islands and lakes galleries. Topic architecture Shedd Aquarium is also notable for its architecture. The basic design, by architectural firm Graham, Anderson, Propst and White, is taken from classical Greek architecture, more specifically Beaux-Arts, to match the other structures of the museum campus. The central aquarium building is octagonal, fronted by Doric columns and a formal staircase and topped by a dome. Aquatic motifs are worked in at every opportunity, tortoise shells, dolphins, octopuses, waves, and even the trident of Poseidon can be found all over the aquarium's exterior and interior. Improving upon its predecessor inland aquarium, the Belle Isle Aquarium in Detroit, extensive use was made of designs by Mary Chase Perry Stratton, incorporating her custom-made pubic pottery tile. The Oceanarium is done in a more modern style representing the Pacific Northwest, but one that blends with the older part of the building. Whale Harbor, the Oceanarium's 2 million U.S. gallon 7 L main tank, is backed by a wall of windows that look out onto Lake Michigan. Topic. Conservation and research The Daniel P. Herther Center for Conservation and Research helps to provide on-site research at the aquarium. They study topics such as animal health and behavior, nutrition, animal training, reproduction and genetics. The aquarium also partners with conservation efforts in the Caribbean and Southeast Asia. The Bahamian rock iguana is one of the most endangered lizards in the world. Since 1994, the Shedd Aquarium has been studying and providing conservation plans for this iguana. The Shedd Aquarium is now recognized as the lead authority on this iguana. In Southeast Asia, the Shedd partners with Project Seahorse to monitor and map out the seahorse populations in Southeast Asia. Since 1991, the Shedd Aquarium has been involved with research focused on beluga whales. They focus on the animal handling procedures to ensure the animal's welfare. The aquarium does most of their beluga whale research in Bristol Bay in southwest Alaska. Topic. 
Topic See also List of museums and cultural institutions in Chicago Chicago architecture Culture of Chicago Art Institute of Chicago Lincoln Park Zoo Brookfield Zoo Museum of Science and Industry Chicago List of National Historic Landmarks in Illinois Bubba Fish Topic Gallery equals equals notes <laughs>